video, and I'm sorry I did not post last um, Monday. It was just I was so I was busy with um, some things and just didn't have the time. And also, this is my second time filming this exact video, and it'll probably be a little bit better. But the reason I did was because all of, sorry I keep doing that, but um, all of the footage got deleted and honest and it wouldn't even let me post it so I would have to redo it in the first place so yeah um let's get straight on to the first video. thing I have is this wood and this one is a three by one by eight inch no sorry um one inch by three inch by eight feet um piece of um pine wood and I'm going to be using this for the new cage and the ramp and just to let y'all know I will be getting the cage very very soon I have all of the money for it and so we'll just it just um depends on when we can go get it and so yeah um this is the piece of pine wood I have for the ramps that I'm going to be making and then um just this little piece of wood I have no idea how big it is but I'm just going to basically cutting it and um putting it on there that way they can climb up <laughs> um so now let's move on to the actual supplies first thing um i'm not going to get the wheel yet just because but the first thing i'll be seeing here um some of these things are from my previous video which is all the things i ordered from petco so yeah this is a little bit better because i have more items but um this is the um the oxbow hay buns western timothy and orchard grass they didn't have normal timothy hay and the reason that's a small bag is because my chinchilla does not eat a lot of hay and i know it's a bad thing but i hope that the new chinchilla will encourage him to eat a little bit more hay and hopefully that chinchilla likes eating hay but if not that'll be fine because then we'll just have something in common so yeah i do i have new hay um the next thing i have in here is these so i had to open them because my dad needed one for something but um these are just the um sandpaper blocks for the wood when i have to sand it down for harsh edges but they have the um uh the i don't remember what this one's called but this is a medium grit and the um i don't know let's see Okay, so coarse, so this is the fine, this is the medium, and this is the coarse grit um, sandpaper. Sorry if you couldn't see anything, but yeah, this is the um, coarse, medium, fine grit sandpaper. The next thing in here is two wooden hideaways. I have two of these because um, I decided to get like everything new for the new cage. That way nothing had a scent on it. I am pretty sure these are two different brands of um, hideaways because this one's from the You and Me one. And I remember this one being something called a Woodland Hideaway, but I forget what brand it was. But this one's called a Woodhaven, so, but they look the exact same. So it honestly doesn't matter. They're the exact same size and everything. So, um, yeah, I decided just to get new ones. That way um, they didn't have any scent on it and that they could basically just um pick their own one without like one having a scent on it and honestly my um chinchilla at the moment doesn't have a proper hide like this he just sits in his um dust bath which i know it is so bad and i'm so glad to get this new cage but yeah those are the two new hides i have the next thing in here is um this Timothy Carrot. I just got this at the pet store while we were getting my brother's new hamster. Oh my god. Um, so, yeah. Um, yeah, that's it. This is just a Timothy toy. And I'm sure that they will absolutely love this. And I love Oxbow, so, like, that's really good. The next thing in here is, um, let's do these toys over here. So, in this box, um, you can probably... I'm just going to go quickly over this stuff because um, it was all in a previous video. So if you want to see like everything in detail, um, that is in my previous video. And you can go watch that. But this is just has a couple of toys on here. In here. And this says guinea pig on it. But I honestly don't care. They still chew on it. 
This one is my favorite toy because it's an apple and loofah inside, and my chinchilla loves loofah. And yeah, just a couple other toys in there. And then there's another one that I got, and this one is just a different color. I gave one of the toys to my brother for his hamster, and um, yeah, so that's why there's only a couple of toys in here. But that's fine, and this is just, uh, there's another loofah in there, so that's good, and just some other wooden shoes. And then the next thing, oh my god, I think that they will destroy this. I don't know why, but I, it's so cute. Um, it's just a carrot chew, and it's wooden, and yeah, it's pretty simple. Um, then there's just these plastic toys, which I will only be using in during playtime, because um, plastic is not safe for chinchillas, and if they chew on it, it can harm them. So yeah, that's only going to be used in playtime, just to let y'all know, because I know y'all would attack me for that. <laughs> Um, and then the last thing, well, I have a couple more things, but this is, like, the most, the biggest thing I got, which was, um, the comfort wheel, and the thing is, is I really hope that this part doesn't bother my chinchilla, because you just, it, that's just how they are, but, yeah, it doesn't make as much noise as my other one does, because they, like, people we got it from, like, ruined it, but, yeah, that is the wheel, um, the next thing I got, which, okay, so, um, I got two new water bottles, like I said, because I don't want anything to have scent on them, and also the one that I have right now is also broken, but it still works, but it's just not, it's plastic, and it's not holding up too well, so I decided to get some glass ones, and they will probably last a lot longer, um, and, um, I do give my chinchilla fresh water every single morning, and this is not as big as his water bottle that he has right now, but he doesn't drink a lot of water, and, like, not in a bad way, but just, like, since, like, it's just like that, so this will be fine, especially since I refill it, um, every day. So, yeah, I got two of those, and then... Um, the next thing, oh my goodness, sorry, I have two new food bowls as well. One of them is in a box because I ordered it, and the other one I had to get a second one because, so yeah, they're the exact same thing. They're two, the small eggshell dishes, and yeah, um, they're like a little bit smaller than my hand. If you can, oh my god, let's see this. Yeah, they're about like as big as my hand, and my hand compared to the wheel is like this big so sorry it's uh, hard to show y'all everything in here the next thing is just some paper towels pretty self-explanatory and then homemade cleaner this is just half vinegar half water um because instead of spending like ten dollars on um, like, expensive cleaners that I have to keep rebuying. I could, my mom does canning, like, pickles and okra and jelly and stuff, so we almost always have vinegar in our house, so I can just use vinegar and water, which is super just easy, and it cleans great, and yeah, and then the next thing I have is some binder clips. Um, these are just for the fleece. Oh my gosh, if I can even... Get it? They just look like this, and basically, um, one second. Basically, you just take it apart like, well, not like this, but you, um, go, oh my god, I can't do it, but basically, you open it like this, you pinch it to clip onto something, and then you squeeze these off, and then you just leave the black part on the fleece and um yeah it's just it's just there to keep the um oh i can't think just to keep the um, whatever anyways yeah i just have some binder clips it's just to keep the fleece in place instead of it like keep falling off especially since it's going to be an open edge and I can't, like, just leave, um, I can't just sew it or else I won't be able to take it off. So, yeah, those are binder clips. And, yeah, on the next thing. <laughs> next thing in here is just a hammock. Um, I don't even know if this will be going in the cage. That, um, just because my chinchilla gizmo, my chinchilla that I have right now, um, is... Doesn't, didn't use this, but it was because, I'm pretty sure it was because it was too high and he couldn't get into it. 
like, it would just been too dangerous and he would have fall, so, or fell, um, but yeah, it's super soft, and, um, uh, I don't know, maybe I'll have to make this, extend this a little bit longer, I don't know, but, um, I'm gonna try it in the cage and see if it, at least one of them uses it, if not, or if both of them love it, I might get a second one, it's only $10, so, yeah, um, but the next thing I got was, well, the next thing I have is just these two towels. Um, so, these are just for the absorbent layer underneath the fleece. And, yeah, it's just self-explanatory. The next thing I have is my fleece. So, this is a quick tip for... Oh, my God. Um, these are not the only fleeces I have. I have black fleece, too, but that's underneath the tile. So, yeah. Um, but, just a quick tip. If y'all are going to be getting like guinea pigs or um chinchillas or if you're going to be using a fleece oh my god fleece for um a new pet i definitely recommend getting like these fleece throws because you can get it for like super cheap at walmart and you don't have to pay like twenty dollars and you can only pay like two dollars and fifty cents it's crazy so i definitely recommend you could get like a couple of them sew them, sew them together and then use it like that I, it's just you might have to work on it for a little bit but it just saves you so much money and if you're like a kid or um like if you don't have like all the money like if you don't have a job or something and you're a kid like me and you just um earn money from like chores or um like working or something like that like working for friends or whatever anything just um i recommend using this instead of like using um normal fleece my black fleece is cut um as a yard so like that's the other thing with this you kind of don't know this is 50 by 60 inches each i just unrolled this one to see how big it was and that's why it's like folded a little bit different but yeah so that is the colorless like pattern fleece i have and then i don't know if you can tell but that part right there is all of the black fleece that i have but these are all of the tiles so the bottom of the cage that i got is two feet by three feet so i have all these tiles it's gonna be tile 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 and that's how big um, the floor is, so I'm going to be putting tile on the floor after they bond, so I will not be using this, so I will be having to make an extra fleece liner, which will probably be out of all black fleece, because all of this, I have so much black fleece, it's crazy, I like, totally did not measure correctly, but I just, it's actually better that I got more than I need, because I'm probably still going to have extra after I even make the extra fleece liner, and so I can use it as, like, maybe make my own hammock or something like that if they both like it. So I'm going to go ahead and take all these tiles out and show you all the black fleece. And, yeah. Hey, guys. So this is everything that was in that bucket. I know it's kind of crazy, all this stuff. But, yeah, thank you for watching. And please like and subscribe. And comment what you want me to do in my next video. I'm sorry I did not post last week. But yeah, this is everything I have for the new cage. And soon you will be seeing, seeing a video of me setting up the cage. And so yeah. It's later that night. And um, basically I just forgot to do the intro on that. I mean the outro on that video. I'm kind of tired. Um, I just went to my volleyball game. So sorry if I'm in a different outfit. But um, yeah, basically just... Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed and I will see y'all next week. I like it like